In this example, we want to determine the convergence or divergence of the following series using the racial series test. Okay, so we're going to have to uh, calculate the limit of the ratio of the nth plus one term and the nth term. Okay, and then from there, let's see if we get if we you know if we get something less than one, that means this series will converge. If we get something strictly bigger than one, this series will diverge. If we get if the limit is equal to one, that means it's the series test is inconclusive here. So then we would have to use another test. Okay, so let's first calculate the uh, let's identify the nth term and the and then from there we can get the nth plus one term. Okay, so the nth term is going to be n to the n all over n factorial. Okay, and the nth plus one term, okay, again just substituting in n plus 1 for n, so we're going to get n plus 1 all over to, I'm sorry, n plus 1 to the n plus 1 power divided by n plus 1 factorial. Okay, okay, so now let's take the limit as n goes to infinity of the nth plus 1 term over the nth term. Okay, right, so this is going to give us Okay, so we have n plus 1 all to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 factorial. And again, here I'm going to take the reciprocal. We're dividing by the nth term, so we can change this to multiplication by taking the, nth, um, the reciprocal of the nth term. So that's going to give us n factorial over n to the power n. Okay. All right, so now, um, again, here we don't have any negative values, okay? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and remove the parentheses, or the absolute values, I should say. So this is going to give us, okay? Um, so if we expand this, this is going to give us n plus 1, okay, to the n times n plus 1. Okay, so all I did here is just break this term up. Okay. Okay, so, oops, let's see what happened here. Okay, so I just broke, yeah, I just broke this term up here. Okay. All right. And then on the bottom, in the, in the uh, denominator, we're going to get n, we have n plus 1 factorial. And then over here, we have n factorial over n to the power n. Okay. All right. So now what I do is just kind of group things together. Okay. So I'm going to put the factorials together, and then I'll put the, uh, the exponential parts together. So we're going to have the limit as n goes to infinity. Okay, so I have, okay, so we have n plus 1 to the n all over n to the n. So I'm going to put, put those together. And then uh, I'm going to put n plus 1 here. Oops. Okay. And then, yeah, and then we have the factorial function. Okay, so now, okay, okay, so then we have, all right, so let's look at this, let's look at this part, okay, just like before, okay, um, this is going to give us 1 over n plus 1, okay, so just recall, so if, if we have, right, so we have n factorial, so this is just n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 all the way down to 3, 2, and 1. Okay, and then on the bottom we have n plus 1 factorial. So this is going to give us n plus 1 times n and then times n minus 1. So times n 
times n minus 1, and all the way down to 1. So, so basically, right, this n will cancel out here, n minus 1 will cancel out, n minus 2, all the way down, all these will cancel out. And so we're left with, we're going to be left with 1 over n plus 1. Okay, so we have n plus 1 to the n times n plus 1, all divided by n to the n times 1 over n plus 1. So now you can probably see that, right, this and this term will cancel out. It's going to give us 1, okay. All right. Okay, so then we're left with this. Okay, we're left with the limit of n plus 1 over n all raised to the n power. So this part, both of, so n plus 1 is getting raised to the n, and n is getting raised to the n. So then we can rewrite that. We can rewrite like this, n plus 1 to the n. And this, this is going to give us something that probably you recognize. So we can divide each term in the numerator by n. So we're going to get 1 plus 1 over n all raised to the n. Okay. So this limit should look familiar. Okay. In one of the videos, we actually proved that this limit approaches e. Okay. As n goes to infinity. Okay. So this e is, right, so e is, e is bigger than 1. Okay, so therefore this series diverges. Okay, okay, so it diverges. Okay.